Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we've got an extra someone here with me. Hi. And you're gonna hear a lot of things in the background. First off, we're upstairs. There's three dogs downstairs. Right now, I wanna say there's two that are barking. And we have this one playing <laughs> down below with some toys. Listen, life in our world right now is just completely chaotic with the dogs and the baby, everything. But keeps it, keeps it uh, kind of fun. I guess that's one way to describe it. <laughs> Anyways, so today's video, I kind of wanted to do something a little different than just like focusing on postpartum and things of that sort, and kind of do something a little bit fun because Charles and I have had conversations in the past about pregnancy and labor and sometimes things that he asked were really, really funny and it kind of got us thinking. And actually Tara was the one who brought it up about weird questions or questions it's that men, thing, yeah. yeah questions that men might be embarrassed to ask women about pregnancy and labor. So I'm gonna have him ask me some questions. It's might be, lot. there might be some inappropriate questions. Yeah, there might be some inappropriate questions. We have not gone over any of these questions. We have not even discussed like no. what he can and can't ask me. I'm kind of an open book about it. So this is the first time that you're actually hearing me answer these for real. So if they're a little strange, I, I got they one. They may right be cut that. out, but they may not be. Right. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna go right into it. Were you afraid of pooping yourself? And do you do women always poop themselves? Okay, I feel like that's like a really common question with said, men in general. If you want me to be completely honest, like the the end of my pregnancy, I had such a hard time going to the bathroom that I was almost hoping that I did <laughs> on the table. Do you remember? I do. I kind of yeah. remember. It doesn't happen. I know it happens all of the time. I mean, you're pushing so hard, and like that's the one thing that they say you feel before you're about to deliver, which is so true. I felt that. Was I afraid of pooping on the table? Absolutely not. No, not at all. You think that's like the worst thing they've ever seen? Does a baby eat your poop when it's developing, or like does a baby absorb your poop? These are questions that I, again, I did no research for from, but I can only assume that they do not absorb my poop. I think that they're in a very safe sack that keeps them away from all of those weird things, and I think my bowels are in they're a in separate area yeah, yeah, than where yeah. the baby is, so I'm gonna go with no. I love that we did two poop questions right off the bat. Did you or do women feel claustrophobic with a baby inside? Because you're kind of confined. I don't know if I felt like claustrophobic. I felt really tight and full. And I guess that's what I mean. Like, like uncomfortable, like. but I wouldn't say that I felt claustrophobic. When uh, a pregnant woman has sex, can the uh, baby get poked? I feel like that's a very common one. That's actually something can that... Can the baby like grab you? No! <laughs> I used to... I used to poke fun at that all the time with Charles. Um, but that's like one thing that the pediatrician said. She's like, I know a lot of men get so nervous about this, but no, the baby does not get poked by your, I gotta be careful with YouTube. I can't say too much stuff, but your, your thing, okay? Babies can I grab a hold of it and they, uh, they do not get poked by it. Actually coming back to what I was trying to say about poop, it's like, is the baby pooping inside you? Like basically, are I you- I would assume. Are you basically pooping out the baby's poop? I guess, I have no sorry, idea. I won't do any more pooping questions. I would think, like, I don't know I if the baby, I still like, I don't think, I don't know how that really works. Like, I don't know if they absorb their own feces. I don't think they absorb their own feces. I think that, I don't know. I true. honestly, I feel really bad saying this because maybe I should have let him tell me some of these questions so I could do a little research, um, but I don't think so. I could actually look that up and give you that info if you'd like to know because I, I genuinely don't know. I want to say that the baby does not eat their own poop. I don't know why I have so many poop questions. How, how do women wipe down there when they have the big belly? Like, you just make it work, dude. <laughs> All right, I'll you learn maneuvers with your legs. I'll try not to ask you more poop work. questions. This one is not my question. Okay. I had to look this one up because I wanted okay. to find a ridiculous one and this is by far the most ridiculous. Okay. Can a baby get pregnant when having sex? Absolutely not. <laughs> that is not my question, but that was literally one that I read. So I'm curious, did you look up some of these questions? I asked, I looked up a couple of them because I didn't want to have things Charles is embarrassed to ask a pregnant woman. I wanted to see what the general consensus okay. of men. And so some of these questions aren't Charles being an so, idiot. So it's, it's like just be, men being idiotic. Yeah. Well, no. It's I mean, can a baby curious. get pregnant? Like, I mean, that's a, that sounds that's like a 12 year old one. asked that. Yeah. But, but I'm not going to judge. Be, it should be what boys are embarrassed to yeah. ask about pregnancy. Is it? possible for a pregnant woman to be pregnant without knowing. So is it possible for a woman to be pregnant without knowing she's pregnant? Yeah. 
I think, so I do know someone that did not know they were pregnant. To, for me, and I don't know if it's based off of like, your, cause your body changes. I mean like, I, I you gain weight. And I think sometimes women they all have different body shapes. Have different body shapes and maybe they don't notice certain things. Like, gosh, there's like, think about this. Think, this happens all the time. And it, I think that it, it, it's so possible for women to not know that they're pregnant. For me, it would have been impossible to know that I'm not pregnant. Like, yeah. I, 100%, I knew I was pregnant. I would have known I was pregnant by the month three or four. I would have known. There's no way, you know, especially with a period the, and things like hey, that. Honey, so I think something's kicking okay. you. That'd be creepy. For some know. women, I think that it is possible for them to not know that they're pregnant based off of body size and build and um, various things of that sort. But for me, I 100% knew. Is it dangerous for women to be pregnant over the age of 35? Is it difficult? Like, or is it dangerous? I don't, you like, know, I okay, think that... Okay, let's just that, say think, 35. Let's just say at a certain age. I think, like, at certain ages, yeah, it is more difficult for a woman to be pregnant based off of, you know, there's a lot of factors that make it a more of a health risk for not only mama, but for a baby. Um, I think that times are different nowadays where... Um, I, but I think women take really are, are more health conscious nowadays as, as opposed to what they were 50, 60 years ago. Is it safer to have a baby earlier in life? I would say yes. Is it more difficult as you get older? I'm sure. I think it's all based on how you take care of yourself. I think it's all based off of like your um, OB's recommendations on how you do this, the whole process of being pregnant and labor delivery. What does it feel like when a baby kicks in your stomach? It's the cool, it's the cool fear. I, so when Remy kicked me when, I, when she was, you know, smaller, when she was, it was early on in her pregnancy, I used to say that when she would swipe, it wasn't a kick, it wasn't a jab, it was a that. swipe. It felt like a cat needing, needing you, but on the inside. That's what it, I could relate it to. When a baby actually kicks, it's a, it's a jab, and I can remember her kicking my ribs and things of that sort. When a woman's, a pregnant woman's breast milk comes in, is it like <laughs> this a- This question is so awkward already for you, I can it's, tell. It's, it's it like a weird sensation that yeah. comes through? Yeah, it's like a rush. When my breast milk first started coming in, I think I just, I didn't notice it as much. But as the months progressed, I would know like when milk would come in, and it was like a rush kind of feeling. It would happen really quickly, and it was not painful, but it was intense. Um, and I would feel it from the side towards the front. Is it a common thing for women to taste or drink? Not drink. We'll is say, it common for them to drink? Their is it milk? a common like urge to want to try your own breast milk? Is it an urge? Like, I like, can't say do that. Do you it's like, 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 cause I think you there's see curiosity. It. Okay, that's, I guess, would be a natural There's a urge. curiosity. Um, I think every mother probably tries their breast milk. Does it gross you out? No, it's kind of, I mean, there's a part of me that's like, oh, that's so weird, but at the same time, I'm like, I guess it'd be people drink milk. like cow's milk, and then, but also, I'm like, it comes from my body. You know what I put in my body, my baby drinks it, so how weird could it be? I don't look at it as like a, like a weird thing. Okay. But I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna go pour a glass of my own breast milk and drink it. That's okay, I guess that would be like the, uh, what does breast milk taste like? I don't really know. I it's sweeter, it smells sweeter. Would it be like having? It's like, it's like low fat milk, like skim milk. It's like real faint. Would it taste like equivalent? You are just a chatter. That's what I feel like it would taste. To me, it's like, it smells sweet. It's sweeter smelling. Would it be like a equivalent but, to like, you know, like vanilla milk? Almond milk is like super sweet. I can't say that I've ever had vanilla almond milk. I had it accidentally. But I feel like what it is, is it, to me, it's like skim milk that smells sweeter. So not really flavor, super flavorful. I don't know, not super flavorful. I sound like I drank a lot of it. It was like a... How is choking it? She got like milk mustaches. Wait, oh, look, my boob is leaking through my shirt. Like I'm not doing it. Oh. What is the grossest thing a pregnant woman experiences? Let's say two-parter okay. during pregnancy and labor. Oh, you can't say the poop thing because we already know that one. Okay, the grossest thing. Do okay. two-parter. Um, I'd say that the grossest 
something during pregnancy. It's so hard to say like what's gross, but like what to me traditionally gross. I don't know what all women would think is gross, but I feel like for me what was kind of gross is like when my mucus plug came out. Yeah, you told me it was like a snot it, rocket. Not exactly. <laughs> like it was awkward, and I think like even my water breaking was a little gross. To you were me pretty calm when that happened, though, too. I was pretty calm. I had to. You were not calm. And then like delivery wise, can't say the poop thing. I'm not going to. I think that to be completely honest, delivering the placenta. I was just gonna was say weird. that was for me. Like, and that's another. It was weird. Because the... it was like the the doctor in my case said. My placenta was huge. Like, I no love, wonder I was so big because it was all placenta. placenta was yeah. huge. All and that's what she was so tiny. All I can remember was literally, and this is for me. It's like when it came out, it was it just it was hit the table. It literally yeah, it was like loud. that. Because I don't even. I will like, never forget that. Recovery, sound. like for me too, was like interesting, but I don't think it was necessarily gross. I just knew it was part of it. Even like I know delivering the placenta was a part of it. It's like it was still weird because like I could feel. Delivery. Did you feel like you just got rid of pounds? No. Because when Remy came out, it probably. I could feel it touch my legs. I think that's this. what grossed me out. Too I could feel it touch my legs. The placenta? Yeah. Was it? What was the difference? Okay, this is actually a good one. What was the difference between delivering a baby and delivering the placenta? Other than the obvious, you know, the legs pain. and oh, so there's more Holy pain. Holy okay. Delivering a baby is painful. Oh, I imagine it would be, but I, like, I've literally said this wise. before. Yeah. Sensation-wise. I, you don't really feel much from the placenta. Like you, it, that's After not. After the baby, I'm sure. Yeah, that's not like a. That's not. Hot dog down the highway. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Sorry, I had to say it. So all my new subscribers out there, <laughs> thanks for coming and leaving real quick. <laughs> no, um, the placenta. It, you don't really feel it that much. To me, I couldn't, especially after delivering a baby. I couldn't yeah, feel I it that imagine. much. Um, and then with a baby, it's just very painful. There's a lot of pressure in a lot of areas of your body that it's hard to explain. And I don't like remembering it that much. But um, I would have to say that those were the gross things. What does it feel like? Okay, for us, it was the situation. What does a woman immediately think when they find out they're pregnant? Especially an un unexpected pregnancy. I think everybody's different. In, in that situation. I think some women, if they get pregnant, they're like, oh my god, this is incredible, this is crazy. And some women are in freak out mode. I was in freak out mode. She was in freak out mode. Um, yeah. And it wasn't that it was like a mad freak out mode or like a holy crap, this is not good freak out mode. It was more like I was so overwhelmed with emotion, like I almost didn't believe it. And it just, it was like my life flashed before my eyes. It was weird. It was just weird. And I was scared. I was automatically scared because. Everything changes from then on out. It really does, and and it can be really extreme and really overwhelming. And um, I, my personal experience. Yeah, that's what I, I was in. I was in like freak out mode. I guess these aren't now like embarrassing ones. These are just curiosity questions for men. This is my last question. Okay. Um, actually, let me ask a goofy question first. Okay. The goofy question is, how do you tie your shoes? Well, I could do it. I could, I could tie my shoe and put my shoe on up until like the very end of my pregnancy. Then you have to remember. Oh, that's right. It was, uh, or I swore flip flops. This is good. Now I can tie hers. Okay, so last question: Is it creepy? Now you can't say it because you have her in your arms. At the time, is it creepy? Especially when she does the stuff, the swipes and stuff. Is it creepy knowing that there's a human being inside you? So my thoughts on that changed. I used, I used to think that it would be really creepy. And kicking you and like the thought of it is like very alien-like, mm -hmm. you know, it's very weird. Um, Especially prior to being alien. pregnant, I was like, that's so weird, it's so creepy, and I just don't know if I would like that. Then, becoming pregnant and actually experiencing it, my mind is completely flipped. I loved it. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. It's something that no matter who you are, you can't explain that feeling. Even if you explain it to another pregnant woman, your experience might have been different totally than her different, experience. Yeah. And I loved it. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Like I looked forward to her moving and I looked forward to her swiping and I looked forward to her jabbing. I like loved it. It was reassuring to me as well. well. I hope you liked today's video a little bit different, a little bit weird, but 
definitely something that I'm glad my husband asked me now. This was as educational, opposed guys. To later, if we ever have future children, he doesn't have to ask me these questions again because he already knows the answer. Oh, and we have a surprise announcement. He's totally not telling the truth right now. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and make sure that you are subscribed. More videos to come. Hit that notification bell. And if you guys are following us on the CTFXC, please make sure you do hit that link down in the description and go follow us. We film every single day. We've got a lot of exciting things happening in the next month or so. So thank you again and we will see you next time. Bye guys.